excited. We're gonna be best buds. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Today is a great day because Fran and I are becoming dog parents. We are getting a doggo, a pupper, a floof. Well, actually it's not really a floof because it's not fluffy, but we're getting a puppy today. Fran doesn't look excited because he doesn't show his emotions, but I always show my emotions so you can tell I'm excited. Even though Fran doesn't look excited, he's very excited. Fran and I have known we were getting a puppy for a couple weeks now. We waited for everything to be set in stone and a little backstory on this. We had a discussion a couple months ago about getting a dog and we really wanted to get one, but it was about trying to find the right dog, the right breed, should we adopt, should we buy? And then a few weeks ago, Fran came home and he said, remember how I put my name on the wait list for this lady who breeds dogs? And I was like, no. <laughs> But he's like, okay, well, she just messaged me because the dog just had a litter. The timing felt a little bit more like right and comfortable for us to get a dog. So we FaceTimed her on Facebook or whatever it's called. And we had a discussion with her. We saw the puppies to make sure it's legitimate because there are a lot of like scammers out there pretending to be selling dogs or trying to give away dogs and stuff. And they're actually just trying to take money. But we chatted with her and we picked out the puppy that we wanted. And we're finally on our way to go pick him up. If I'm being completely honest, I wasn't really as gung-ho about getting a dog as Fran was. Fran has been wanting a dog for months. So this is technically Fran's dog because she's buying it, he wanted it, he picked it out and everything like that. I mean, it is our dog, whatever, but like it's Fran's dog. One question I know that I'm probably gonna get a lot in relation to this video is why we decided to buy a dog instead of adopt a dog. And personally, him and I actually both started looking with adoption at first. We were looking at dogs to adopt for months. The conversation and the thought process that I had was one, I already have a cat named Forrest, which most of you already know. And I was worried that what if we adopted a dog that didn't do well with my cat? Forrest comes first, you know, like he's my first fur baby. He is my pride and joy. And I would have been extremely heartbroken, devastated if, you know, Forrest didn't get along with a grown dog. And I didn't want either one of them to be stressed out with each other. Additionally, I worried about the factor of usually a dog gets a basis of its behaviors not only like the training like sit stay whatever have you but it gets a lot of its like mannerisms and behaviors like how it reacts around loud noises food children and they learn a lot of that behavior in their first year to year and a half sometimes even two years of their life and obviously a lot of dogs although two or three at a shelter isn't old that's a little bit past a behavior learning stage yes i know that you can have dogs relearn behaviors and stuff i thought about future wise down the road if we do have a dog for you know in the next 10 12 years i probably will have a child in the next 10 or 12 years i don't want there to be any potential risk between a future child or a dog or anything like that those are just a couple of reasons that we decided to go with a breeder for our first dog I would still love to adopt a dog in the future maybe if we have kids you know down the road and they're a little bit older where it's not gonna be such a fragile thing it's a small breeder that lives on a hobby farm and she's been wonderful she's been sending us updates she's been sending us pictures videos you know having any questions we could contact her about anything we have questions on she's been amazing and such a really big help in all of this we're driving two and a half hours way to go pick up this puppy so I'm just like beaming with excitement it's been really hard to stay calm or like relaxed and the car ride seems of course a lot longer than it should because we're so excited we have a water bowl and a food bowl as well as some toys and some blankets I don't think he's obviously gonna be um, eating or drinking in the car or very active in the car I think he's gonna be pretty tired hopefully we do have a name picked out but I don't think I'm going to tell you guys until we get our puppy so stay tuned for that. I'll update you guys soon when we go pick him up and we finally get to take home our pupper. Well, Rand and I, after that excruciatingly boring and long drive, have finally made it to where we're meeting the breeder. We're like half an hour early because Fran likes to be early for everything. Fran's excited. 
He keeps looking for the lady yeah. to drive in the parking lot. <laughs> until we picked him up which doesn't matter at all to us is we thought he had blue eyes but he actually has two different color eyes so one is like gray and one is blue which I personally think makes him just like even more cool. Fran you want to tell everyone uh, what we're gonna name this bad boy? Walter. We're naming him Walter. <laughs> Look at his floppy ears. <laughs> Fran obviously has to drive, so I will be on puppy duty on the way home. And that's not fair because he's gonna like you more. He's pretty calm and relaxed right now, so I just wanna keep him nice and relaxed for the ride home. But I definitely will keep you guys updated. Walter and we play with him for a little bit and Fran is actually taking him outside to go to the bathroom right now It's 10 5 and the breeder said that she normally puts him in the kennel between like 10 and 10 15 ish And we're trying to kind of keep the routine going for him So he adjusts as good as possible So we're probably gonna try to get him to go to the bathroom and then we're going to put him in his kennel Hopefully he doesn't whine too much. I'm a little nervous about it, but I think it'll be okay And then Fran is supposed to get up I think around 3 or 3 30 to let him out to the bathroom again and then we'll get up in the morning and let him out. I will still see you guys in the morning with our next pup date. Come here Walter. Come here Walter. Oh yes good dog. You are such a good boy. Yes you are. Walter. Come here, Walter. Come here, Walter. Come here, Walter. Good boy, Walter. Good boy, Walter. You, Walter. Walter. You, Francis. You, Walter. Come here, Walter. Come here, Walter. Here you go. Yeah, good boy. Right, it's food. Come here. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's around nine o'clock. We've been up since pretty early this morning. Fran got up around six o'clock and I got up around 6.30. Walter slept so good in his kennel last night. We did try covering it at first and I don't really think he liked that too much and we left it uncovered and then we just laid outside of the kennel until he fell asleep. And he slept really good. I think Fran said he let him out two times. Yeah, yeah. including this morning, so really only once. So yeah, we only let him out one time overnight. He didn't whine, he didn't pee in his crate or anything. He's been so good so far. 
This morning we did some name training to help Walter learn his name and how to come when his name is called. We fed him, we got him a salt feeder and just kind of let him play around in the yard and hung out with him for a little bit. Forrest has been doing really well. Um, they actually booped noses a couple times and it was super cute. We're in Fran's work van right now because his dad said that he wanted us to come over and help him install a screen door or fix one or something. Fran's dad doesn't know that we got Walter so we're going to surprise him and show him. Am I still your joy? Am I still your joy? Hey everyone, Walter is sleeping in his kennel right behind us. We Wanted to put him in there and get him used to napping in his kennel and he actually like walked in the kennel himself and like laid down <laughs> and we just closed the door and he was like sleeping. We have his kennel divided here with just like a cardboard box because you're supposed to have them be a little bit smaller. We didn't want to buy a smaller crate because this is the crate size we need for him when he's an adult and then when Fran went to buy the crate they were like sold out of dividers. I remember him and I actually went to PetSmart and they were like out of dog kennels. Like we had to order our dog kennel online. He's been such like an easy puppy. He has not peed inside. He hasn't pooped inside. He goes to the bathroom like in the grass outside. He's really well potty trained so far. I personally thought Forrest would be like hiding in the basement and like completely avoiding us, but he's actually been like really good as far as staying in the area if like walter's running around behind the couch here forrest will sit on top of the couch and just watch him one thing i did want to mention is you guys saw fran feeding walter earlier with his hand in the bowl the reason we're doing that is because you want to teach him from a very early age to not be aggressive towards things in their mouth so we're keeping our hand in the bowl so he gets used to like something being there as he eats and grows so he's not so territorial when it comes to his food essentially it's just supposed to help him not be aggressive with things in his mouth and if you go to reach for like a toy in his mouth and play tug of war or something he's not gonna growl at you or bite at you or anything like that later tonight we are gonna go to TJ Maxx yes TJ Maxx and we want to get him a couple more toys we got some pet food containers they're called the vault and they're really nice they have a twist on cap and they're made of like this really hard like plastic so your pets can't like break into them or chew them open or anything like that and we got one for Walter's food but Walter smelt Forrest's food in the closet and was pawing at it so we kind of slipped on keeping Forrest's food locked up too so we're probably gonna go back to tj maxx and get another one of those additionally we're probably going to get a dog bed for in here for when he gets a little bit older now we're gonna try to get some house shit done while he's sleeping yeah so we're gonna get some house chores done and then we'll catch up with you guys later when we go to tj maxx and show you what we find It's been a successful, I think, for the most part, first day with Walter. The crating thing was the biggest worry of mine, personally, and he has been doing really well with it, so I'm hoping that he can keep it up for the rest of the week and everything. Maybe Fran and I will sit down and do a life update for you guys, because I feel like we haven't done that since, like, December, so yeah, totally. could probably probably sit down and update you guys on some things going on. Wedding planning, house stuff, jobs, personal life all the good things and we will of course keep you guys updated on growth and training and all the good things and one last thing one last thing that's super important Fran would you like to tell our audience what we're gonna do we're gonna be starting an Instagram account it's gonna be where's Walter for Walter um, we'll see what the username actually is and what's available yes so we'll put the username in the description we'll put the link to the instagram account down below we're gonna start an instagram for him called where's walter and take pictures of him wherever we are and have you guys guess where he's at and just of course keep you guys updated with all the cute puppy pics so with that being said it's gonna wrap up the video i hope you guys enjoyed it as always i enjoyed making it for you make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below i post new vlogs weekly for you and i would love for you guys to stick around and hang out and watch some old videos new videos and everything else in between we hope you guys enjoyed this video as always we enjoyed making it for you and we'll see you in the next video bye